Okay, let's talk about the ISEE exam. And specifically, we're going to be talking about upper level math exam. So if you are watching this video, I assume that you're a student that's looking to get into an awesome school. So congratulations on that. Or maybe you're a parent looking for some study resources for your child. Either way, what I'm going to be talking about is the type of math that, depending on where, what grade you're going to be going into in the upper level, so we're talking high school level generally um, for here, so you can maybe be going into like the ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade. So it all depends, um, you know, uh, what grade you're going into in terms of this particular practice problem. But uh, nevertheless, if you're going for the upper level, ISEE -E exam, right? As you may already know, there's different grades, four, five, six, the lower level, the upper level, the upper level, um, I'm pretty sure is the highest level. So we're talking about high school level math. So this particular problem is a pretty easy algebra problem, but we'll see if you can, um, you know, figure it out. Hopefully it will be very easy for you. A little bit about myself, I am a math teacher, uh, teach from sixth grade all the way through 12th grade and beyond. I have a degree in math, master's degree, and been doing this for a long, long time. So it's my passion. And I also um, uh, created many, many courses. I actually have a, an ISEE upper level math test prep course, extremely comprehensive. So if you like my teaching style, um, you'll find the link to that course in the description of this video. But with that being said, let's get into this practice prompt. So here I have some information for you and I don't want to give it away too much. I want to give you a chance to see if you can do it. Of course, I'm going to go over it. So what I want you to do is to find this. Okay, given this. So given, let's go and write that. Given this, can you find that? Okay. All right. So if you pause the video and you figured it out, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and go through it. So I'm kind of speaking very general because I didn't want to give any hints. Uh, but here we go, right? So what, what are we talking about here? Well, these guys are functions. Okay. So they're basic functions in uh, algebra. Uh, or mathematics. So this is, uh, we would refer to this particular function as f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. And then this guy over here, this is g of x is equal to 3x. So they're just functions. So a quick review of functions. Let's take this guy over here. If I wanted to find f of 4 for this particular function, what I would do is I would replace this x. I would substitute with parentheses where the x is the x's are at in that function rule and evaluate. So this would be 2 times 4 plus 1. So this would be 8 plus 1 or 9. So f of 4 is equal to 9. But I don't want to deviate too much from this particular problem because functions are a huge topic in uh, mathematics, especially at the grade level that you're going to be at. So when we're talking like Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, uh, Pre-Calculus, uh, functions are massive. And, and there's a lot of um, facets to functions that you need to understand. Um, now, I'm assuming, and I don't like to make assumptions, but I'm going to make some here. I'm assuming that because you're going for uh, an awesome school, you're applying to an awesome school, that most of you, not maybe all of you, are um, college bound or you're looking to go to college. So you're going to need to know a lot of math if you're going to college. So I would probably say maybe 90% of you at least are going to be looking to go to some school. And at a minimum, at a very minimum, even with liberal arts uh, type of major, uh, you're going to have to get through at least college algebra, which is essentially kind of like pre-calculus, more or less. Um, so you have a lot of math ahead of you, whether you like math or not, or it's, you know, you plan to be an engineer or whatever the case might be, you still have to, you know, get through a lot of math. So why am I saying this? I'm saying this because you want to, uh, uh, don't look for shortcuts. You just want to, um, in terms of, you know, passing this exam, learn the math so you can do well in not only on this particular exam, but in your, your classes, your GPA, the SAT, the ACT, 
and all these other tests that you can um, that you'll be facing in the future placement tests like the AccuPlacer or the Alex exam or um, maybe you want to test out of something like the CLEP exam so anyways I don't want to deviate too much I am I'm kind of going off on a little bit of a uh, tangent here but you know if I got you on this one video I want to give you a lot of information to focus here right okay so because this video is more about can you do this little one problem because if you can do this one little problem that's great but that's not all inclusive that you're ready for this uh, particular exam okay but let's get back to the problem all right so we're gonna find this so what does this mean well this is f of x times g of x okay this is what this notation means so we're going to take five when we have the five in front of the f of x and a g of x this means five being multiplied by f of x times g of x so let's go ahead and write this out so this is going to be five now the f of x function is two x plus one and then we have the g of x function which is three x okay so order doesn't make a difference in multiplication right so two times three times four is the same thing as three times four times two but let's make our life easier I'll use a distributor property here first on the five um, and we want to do things from left to right okay let's kind of follow the order of operations a bit so this will be 10x plus write that a little bit better 10x plus five okay and we still have to multiply that by 3x so let's move the let's write the 3x over here a little bit easier so that'd be 3x times 10x plus 5 so now we want to use a distributor property again so 3x times 10x is what hopefully you wrote 30x squared okay 30x squared and then 3x times 5 is going to be 15x so 5 f of x g of x would be equal to 30x squared plus 15x so this is a pretty basic function operation um, again if you're if this is review for you that's great if it's not then I would definitely encourage you to you know um, now, whatever you know if you use a course like mine that's great but get with some really solid learning material study material okay and my opinion um, uh, is what's the most important thing in learning well you can have great material you can have excellent software but nothing is going to trump an experienced uh, qualified expert teacher okay so if you can get a hold of an expert math teacher someone who does this for a living for many many years that's gonna be your best route that's what I do so again um, uh, but you know you want to find something that works for you but don't leave it to chance by not doing any uh, studying okay well, let's wrap this video up um, I didn't mean to go off on too much of a tangent but I wanted to um, draw your attention to a lot of things when you think about the upper level uh, math because it's a little bit different than the lower level uh, ISE, ISE grades because you're going into a high school level so therefore you have more issues ahead of you than let's say someone in middle school or elementary school right you're going to be thinking about the SAT the ACT you know uh, college applications etc so this is just one of many exams that you're going to be and now facing in the next few years again if you like my teaching style um, you can find um, my test prep course for the ISE, ISEE upper level in um, the description of this video I'll leave a link there also my YouTube channel I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos math videos that will definitely help you out to prepare for this exam so hopefully you'll uh, consider becoming a subscriber if you like this video I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback let me know how things are going for uh, you in terms of your ISE. Are you using a particular program? Do you still have more questions? Do you have concerns? You know, did you like this video? Um, whatever the case is, your feedback is important for me. It gives me um, a sense of what you're thinking, and also gives me ideas on uh, future videos as well. But nevertheless, I definitely appreciate your time, and I wish you uh, all the best on the ISE upper level uh, math exam because. You know, you're you have an opportunity here to go to a great school, whatever that is, okay? Because you know the ISEE is for uh, private schools or magnet schools, these type, you know, great institutions. So 
you know, you have a wonderful opportunity. So definitely put in the work. You know, you probably already are a motivated person, but when it comes to math, there's really no shortcuts than really, you know, focusing and learning the material. But with that being said, again, I appreciate your time and have a great day.